Nothing is real. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Hello and welcome back. I'm going to be making a lot of bracelets today. I'm going to be attempting the 24 hour bracelet challenge. I have just woken up, so I'm going to make as much as I can within 24 hours with taking as little breaks as possible. However, I will be making sure that I'm like standing up and stretching every hour because if I was literally just like tying knots for 24 hours straight, I think my hands and fingers would fall off. And I did make a little poll in my Instagram story a couple weeks ago asking if you guys would would only want to see bracelets in this challenge or if you'd want to see bracelets and macrame and you guys voted for both so I may be switching it up a little bit and I was a little bit unsure of how to film this video but I think my best course of action is going to be recording multiple time lapses of what I'm actually making and then just giving you little video updates in between those time lapses because I highly doubt anyone's going to watch like a 24 hour stream and plus I don't I don't have the technology to do that so yeah like I said I just woke up this is my bed head and my regular face and I do have a few pattern suggestions that you guys sent me already so I might make a few of those I might make a, um, some wall hangings I do have a commission I have to work on too so we have lots to work on and and I have a surplus of embroidery floss and pearl cotton. It is 8.31 a.m. on Saturday morning on February 13th, 2021. All right, wish me luck. I already need more coffee. Do you think I can do it, Tozy? Do you think I can complete the 24-hour bracelet challenge? She's purring. How nice is that? All right, let's just get started. So I was prepping some floss to do a trans pride flag, but I ran out of the specific blue. So literally the first bracelet I go to make, I'm like, I have a surplus of string. Yeah, no, ran out. So this is going to have to be set aside to make another time. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can start making this pattern here. And I've been really wanting to make this pattern for Dylan because he loves Naruto so much. And this is one of his favorite characters. So we're going to see if uh, we can start making this for him. Okay, so we got 32 base strings. So I'll just go ahead and cut 16 strings and then we'll cut them in half and tie them onto a dowel. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So here's where we're at with this wall hanging so far. I ran out of this light gray floss that I'm using for most of the hair. For some reason I thought I had a lot more of it. So yet again, another project I'm going to have to put to the side for now. So personally, I really just want to sit down, start a bracelet, and finish it. So I'm going to start a normal bracelet that I know I have enough floss for, for reels this time. And I have chosen this pattern here, I will post all the info on this pattern in the description below. And just an update on the time, it is 11.27 a.m. I am including like setup time and like the time that takes me to cut the string, like it's all, it's all included. See, I'm only focusing on bracelets though, so 24 hour bracelet challenge. Okay, thank you babe, is your phone? We're recording. Yeah. How do I look? Incredible. Okay, let's go. So it is 1.17 in the afternoon now, and I'm about halfway done this bracelet, but I am starting to get a little bit hungry. I'm gonna go see if I can get Dylan to make me some food, and then I will get back to nodding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my 
god! Yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Give me two seconds. It's over. <laughs> You're the best! Thank you! So as you just saw, Dylan made me uh, some chicken fingers and french fries. So I'm going to take a quick like 20 minute break, get some food, stretch a little bit, get some water. Because you know, I still have to like be a human. You know, I can't just neglect these things. And then we will continue working on this bracelet. back is starting to hurt so it is now 3 51 p.m. I have finished this bracelet completely I've braided the ends and cut off the excess string so now I'm kind of sick of making normal patterns so I'm gonna switch back over to alpha patterns I'm not really feeling uh, making anything like macrame related just yet. I'm still not really sure if I will, but I might. Maybe once it gets to like seven or eight o'clock when I'm like really dying. <laughs> I'm actually feeling pretty good so far though. I mean, I feel like once I start getting into a bit of like a groove, I end up nodding all day anyways. It's just when we get into the evening and I actually start getting tired and when I want to go to bed, that's when it's going to get real interesting. All right. Let's move on. So I have a bunch of patterns saved on my Pinterest and I really want to make a wall hanging because I didn't get to finish the other one and I'm really sad about it. And I don't really want to just like up and leave the challenge to go get more string. So I'm just going to keep working with what I have. So I'm going to start another wall hanging and this time I'm going to make the Nintendo 64 logo. The N64 was uh, probably one of the first consoles we had in our household and some of my favorite games ever were released for the Nintendo 64. And if you know me personally, you know how much I love Nintendo in general. So I've had this pattern saved for a long time. I'm gonna finally sit down and do it. I feel like this is the perfect time. All right, let's start cutting our string. So here's a little update on the Nintendo 64 logo. I literally have like three rows left to do, but I'm going to stretch, take a little break. And in other news, it is now 8.18 p.m. It's very dark outside, as you can see. I had to break out my ring light and everything. I've also watched an entire season of That's So Raven. So we are halfway through the 24 hour challenge. I'm literally holding my ring light in one hand and my phone in the other hand because I cannot find the stand for my ring light. And I'm just gonna go take like a 20 minute break, get some food, Dylan made us some pizza, I'm so excited. And then I'm gonna finish up this wall hanging. Like I said, I only got like three rows left and then we can move on to another project. My back is definitely hurting, but I'm actually feeling pretty good. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, I'm gonna go eat and watch an episode of Superstore with Dylan, and then I will be back. I finished the Nintendo 64 logo and I just finished it off with a couple gathering knots and all of the colors that I used and it's so cute and it's so small. It's 931 right now. So I think since we just made this alpha pattern, maybe we will move on to another normal pattern.
Midnight. I feel like every time I show you the time, I'm showing you like a different clock. So just to do a bit of reflecting here, I started the trans pride flag. Couldn't do that. I started the Kakashi while hanging. Couldn't do that. Then I did the bracelet. It's been a long day. I've been sitting here for a long time. Then I did the bracelet. Then I did the N64 while hanging. And now I'm onto this. So I've actually... I will finish three things, and I started two things and didn't finish them, but I will eventually. Breaking open my first monster of the night. I'm not really that tired yet, but it is getting hard to form sentences. I used to work uh, like the graveyard shifts at McDonald's, so I'm kind of used to staying up all night. And the reason why I started like as soon as I woke up was so that I wasn't awake like all day and then starting the 24 hour mark. My back worse than it was before, but I feel like that's to be expected. I've watched a season and a half of That's So Raven. I'm on season two, episode 12. And I've watched two episodes of Superstore with Dylan and I had two food breaks and a couple of like standing and stretching breaks. But other than that, I have just been sitting here all day making bracelets. But honestly, I feel like once I get like fixated on a task, I can do it for like 12 hours at a time. So it's just like two of those, right? I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna stop this update now because I'm just rambling at this point. I'm gonna put the camera back on the tripod and I'm gonna keep going. Hey babe. How do you feel about listening to Hamilton on the speakers? Yes? Yes? Okay, okay. Oh! <laughs> So it is now almost three in the morning. I still have about five and a half hours left to go. All right, so we've made this friendship bracelet, this wall hanging, and this friendship bracelet. So I don't really know if I'm up to making another wall hanging, but maybe I could make a keychain. I haven't done any macrame yet either, which I'm kind of surprised. I thought I would want to like get up and do some macrame to like stretch a little bit more, but I'm actually doing okay. Oh, and we just finished Hamilton. So good. All right, now I guess I gotta go figure out what keychain I'm going to make. And I'm pretty sure I only have one keychain left. So that's good news for us. My very last keychain. All right, let's use it. All right, five and a half more hours. We got this. So it took me a couple minutes to find a pattern that I wanted to do for this keychain. I decided to make this animal crossing. Oh my God, I can't even talk. I decided to make this animal crossing theme Tom Nook keychain. And instead of doing the green background, I think I'm going to use this variegated like purple. It's just so pretty and I think it'll kind of give it more like a dreamy vibe, which I think is kind of funny because he always looks like he's half asleep. All right, let's get back to it. starting to get like tunnel vision while I'm working like all I can see is like the one knot I'm working on so it's 5 55 a.m. right now I have been awake for 22 hours I can smell how tired I am and I have like pins and needles everywhere I have like 
two and a half hours left of this 24 hour bracelet challenge. Here's everything I've made so far. I'm debating on calling it quits. <laughs> I am so tired. I feel so sick. Nothing is real. I don't know if I can do this. Part of me wants to have more caffeine, but another part of me is like, you're gonna have an anxiety attack if you have more caffeine. All right, guys. I've decided that since I'm feeling extremely sick from sleep deprivation, I'm gonna go sleep. I'm calling this the 21 and a half hour bracelet challenge. So close yet so far, but you know what? I gotta listen to my body, guys. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I knew it was gonna be like pretty easy for most of the day, but I knew like, getting past like that 20 hour mark, that's when it was gonna start to hit me. This is also the most I've been yawning this whole time. Like now that I've started, I can't stop. Now, like I could do something like pause it here and then I'll pick up tomorrow. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm just stopping it here. I've been awake all day. I'm sitting in this chair all day. And I will leave all the links for these patterns in the description below if you guys want to find them and make them for yourselves. Also, I know this doesn't seem like a lot for 24 hours. Like, I had 24 hours to make stuff and this is all I made. I promise you this is a lot. I don't know if I'm just like a slow nodder, but this took me 21 hours to do. So just keep that in mind if you ever, if you ever order something from me. I'm so glad I didn't do my hair and makeup for this video because now I can just go crawl into bed. <sighs> okay, I'm done. Bye. So here is the aftermath of the 24 hour challenge. And by 24 hour challenge, I mean 21 and a half hour challenge. Also, it's, it's Monday now. I literally closed off this room. Could not look at it. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up now. Hey guys, so now that it's been a few days, I've got caught up on my sleep. I'm a normal person again. I've cleaned up my workstation. I thought I would just sit down and give you my final thoughts on this challenge. First of all, I wanted to do this challenge because I was feeling really unmotivated and I wanted a challenge that would really get me to dive headfirst back into the friendship bracelet community. So I just wanted to sit down and make as much as I could in 24 hours. So I felt really productive uh, during this challenge. Uh, definitely like to the 12 hour point, I was like, man, I'm so happy I'm doing this. I've made so much. This is the most I've made in so long. So that was a really good feeling. Now I just wanna talk about something for a second. As you guys saw, I stopped the challenge after like 21 and a half hours, about 22 hours, something like that. But I was awake for over 24 hours because I couldn't get my body to like fall asleep. And I think it was just because like I was sitting here working nonstop, like my body didn't have a chance to wind down. And it literally felt like I was drunk. I was really dizzy, I felt really sick, and I had pins and needles like all through my arms and my hands and like kind of in my head a little bit. So that's why I stopped. I was like, okay, I gotta start like winding down and start getting ready for bed. But then every time I would lay down to fall asleep, I would start to doze off a little bit and then my anxiety would kick in. And um, I did have an anxiety attack. I was also sick, like I was throwing up. So it was just like a big shock to my system. I just wanna read something to you really quick. Sleep deprivation is also known as cognitive impairment. Studies have shown that going too long without sleep can impair your ability to drive the same way as drinking too much alcohol. Being awake for at least 18 hours is the same as someone having a blood content of 0.05%. So that would explain why I was feeling the way I was feeling and why I was throwing up and why I couldn't fall asleep. So a word of warning, <laughs> if you are going to attempt this challenge, I suggest breaking it up into shifts. I was trying to be super cool and I'm like, I'm just gonna sit down and like be awake for 24 hours. 
It sounds easy, it's not healthy. I don't recommend it. I was definitely regretting it in the morning, but now that it's done, I am just excited to get this video out to you guys. So yeah, final thoughts, super fun, and then super not fun at the end. Anyways, guys, I am going to finally end this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and be sure to give this video a like and leave a comment below if you feel like it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go eat some breakfast and get ready to go back to work. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope you drink lots of water and you get to eat your favorite snack today. Okay, guys, bye.